to allow parties to replace nominated MPs who cross party line. H. Initiate legislation to address the electoral, governance, and economic gaps identified during the inquiry for consideration by the Houses as appropriate. The Joint Task Force shall present its report to Parliament within 30 days of its establishment. Finally, we reiterate three important points. One, as J.F. Kennedy said, and I quote, civility is not a sign of weakness, and sincerity is always subject to proof. And proof. <laughs> Two, the right to assemble, demonstrate, petition, and speak are ironclad as provided for in our Constitution. Three, we reserve our right to call for demonstrations should this process not bear fruit. Should, should there be no meaningful engagement or response from Kenya Kwanzaa, we will not hesitate to mobilize Kenyans to demand their rights within the framework of Article 37 of our Constitution. We are driven by the concern that in spite of the 2010 Constitution, our political culture retains a winner-take-all system. This is what has clearly been demonstrated by the older regime. This monopoly of power, by hook or crook, by the party in the State House, can only be rectified with a thoughtful, deliberative process involving all Kenyans. We need a proper constitutional review to cure the governance de defects in the 2010 Constitution and remove the last vestiges of an imperial presidency. In our dialogue with Kenya Kwanzaa, we will be putting this matter on the table. Thank you, and God bless Kenya. Thank you.